Valentine's Day may be over, but we have one month until White Day. We got to become prepared. Ichika's presentation, you know, present for uh, Yamada will be exciting to see. But Loki, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with Adachi and Moiko. Is that going to go somewhere? Also, where is Adachi's mom at? Well, let's begin today's reaction. Every day. <gasps> Every day. Why? Why? Yamada wa Kenojin. You might injure her. Nani ka atte kara dewa oshii na. True. Eh, chuto motte de. Hmm. Eh, to, kore wa udon fuda. Sugyo shiki. She has so much garbage in there. Hmm. Kushakami mugen seizou ka. It's not destiny. Hmm. Huh? Movie ticket? Prayer Isle. What is it? Agency that she's in. Do you have one more ticket? You got one ticket. All right, you go have fun at the movie, but like, am I coming with? Like, what's going on right now? The second ticket. Does it exist? Okay. Yamada no cardigan. Oh, 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 to the good. Yo, it's going to get it. She go, you know, so you, yeah, yeah, thank you. Because I was like, fuck, dude, come on. You know better now. You're, you're different. You, you're, you, you're a man now. You understand that she wants you. Go to the movies together. To go on a movie date. <gasps> Our schizo friend is here to help us. Oh. Good one, good one. They could have spent a whole fucking episode where, like, this didn't happen and they felt bad and both each other had the same ticket and is thinking, oh, what am I gonna do? I really wanna go to the movie. I would really, and then the end of the pop off of the episode would be like, do you wanna go to the movies? They could have so done that if this is fucking season one. But we're at a stage where we don't need to fuck around anymore. We got the foundation set. We got our schizo friend encouraging us. Let's go to the movies. There's two of them! What? What was the second one? Careful, there's always traps? <laughs> Is this the angel and the devil in his head where one side is saying do it and the other is saying don't? What what is this? <laughs> High schoolers. Wow. Graduated from middle school. We're high schooler couples that were so mature. As if the fucking difference from like 15 and 6. Actually, nah, there is a big gap. I, I think that each year, like when you're in like grade 8 and grade 9, some of these seniors, like grade 11, grade 12, it does seem like a different world, yeah. Adachi, where's Adachi at? Shinobi mode. What's oh, a lot of titties. I'm just looking for anyone possible that we know. Either they're employees working right now or anyone eating here. But okay, we got takoyaki. Oh, sister! You didn't know? Ichika didn't know that her sister works part-time here? I guess it's a new job. I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did Yamada just register in her head that I can get more free food here because I got the hookups or at least a discount? Like, oh, does that mean I can get a bunch of free food? Come on, sis. Come on, sister-in-law to be. Can pack me some more food. Okay. Why? <laughs> There's something I would never want. An after-school date in my school uniform. You can chew on that thought. There's one thing she doesn't want at all, she said, right? Even if I weren't... And that is an after... What is the messaging? She would never have? Did... 
the translation here is kind of odd. Does that mean she always wanted to do this? Or she never wanted to do this? Because the subs are saying like, no matter what, even if I had all of this shit, I would never go on a date in my school outfit. It's just jealousy, right? It's, it's just jealousy right now. <laughs> Okay, Yamada is basically saying it's not too late for you, right? It's not too late for you. Okay, I got it, got it, got it, got it. It's like, basically, a date like this is special. It's time sensitive. You can't always do this. You can only do this in this specific time frame. He's missed out. But Yamada says, no, 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 it's not too late. And the sister goes from this to this, as in, I gotcha. <laughs> Someone else at work. Okay, we're gonna show up to the photo shoot? What kind of magazine? Huh? Hold the fuck up, what's going on here? Can I be the cameraman? I'm in! Say you want to go. Say you want to go. Come on. Last talk, Koyaki. So that. This is indirect kiss. He's gonna spray his spit on the fucking thing while blowing, and then she's gonna eat it. Ooh. This scene is kind of sus. This scene is sus when he's blowing a thing with the fucking camera angle like this shit. Like, what the fuck are you doing right now? Sounds like you're giving Yama the head. Oh! <laughs> Sunlight with the sister in frame. What the? What the fuck was that? Thing? Did you just not? Huh? For free? It's coming out of her paycheck. It's coming out of her paycheck, dude. Dude, she is the boss fucking hates her, man. Like all I've seen her is just him just giving her just the meanest fucking stares, bro. Like the fucking paycheck like it's fucking done. You know what my favorite thing is? When people like this guy shows up, acting as if he's so important. Five messages in the chat. Is this a show to make small men feel better? Listen, brother. No one asked you for your opinion. Nobody cares what you have to say. This chat is not your personal diary. You actually think that people gives a fuck if you're out? I'll do you a favor. Go on a two week vacation. What a fucking dumbass. That's the thing I hate the most. People come in with this like main character mentality and they type in chat like all their fucking updates. It's like nobody asked. No one knows who you are. No one gives a fuck. Everyone's having fun. It's like Kenzo said, ha! Huh? This party is kind of boring! I'm gonna go out now, like... <laughs> the level of narcissism that exists in these kids' heads, bro, it never fails to, you know... It never fails to disappoint me. But at the very least, we can make content out of that. Alright, let's go back to it. This is not the boss. <laughs> this is the fucking trainee. She is higher in rank than him. He's <laughs> well. Yamada hey, This is a date, bro. Bro, you already went on a date with fucking New Year's one. Come on, this is our like this isn't our first date. This is like multiple dates now. Why? Because... Ice covering. 
It's gotta be the eye placement because she wants to turn to see him, but you can't see him. Hmm. I don't think he can fall asleep. Yamada haven't even read your source material? Can we come with? One week break with no Yamada? Oh no. Okay. Yamada,でも好きな分野では早口に出ると。なんとも形容しがたい気持ちに襲われる。今日遅くなるってお母さんに。いや、セステ、ガマバック。別の映画を思い出す。あの、ラブ。リカガジの顔も知らない。What <笑> Anakino, that's Yamada's, you know, stage name. There she is. Space. <laughs> she plays a random B girl who dies. <laughs> you casted a sweet girl like that to say what a bunch of fucking losers and she dies. <laughs> All right. それは序盤で死ぬ。さあ、いじめっ子みたいな適当な役、不良善の差がある。She's a pro. Yamadawa。I was just daydreaming about you. Oh, a kissing. Oh my goodness. This is your moment, bro. Bro, the sunlight's here too. The sunlight's here too, bro. I mean, if you think about it like that is actually, and it's not relatable, but I can definitely understand why, especially a kid like this, imagine what he was in season one and what she is now, right? He's just like this gloomy, loner, quote unquote, loser. And this is a celebrity. She must exist in another world, like a plane of existence. I could totally say, if you're like 15, 14, and you're pretty much as like almost dating like a celebrity, for sure you would think like that. You would actually think like, oh fuck, this is not sustainable. This is fucking impossible. She's gonna fucking leave me. This is, this is crazy. でも、別れイコール不幸じゃないというか、とにかく北村さんがお美しかったよ。ごめん。何が一花はあんまり好きそうじゃないかなって。あんまり気にしてる。今日なんか私の好きなことばっかりしちゃって。いや、ちょっと
Is he actually just gonna go away? Cause he realizes that his gift he's all out of place. I could totally understand. This is actually like, I think very realistic. I don't think that this is an L from Ichikawa at all. I think this is extremely understandable. Again, like, you're like this 14, 15 year old loser and your potential girlfriend is in this like other plane of existence and everything that you brought, I, I could totally get it, right? I'd be like, oh shit, what am I doing? I'm so fucking out of place. What am I fucking doing here? I'm embarrassing myself. <laughs> no! The Wolf of Time! <laughs> we got our schizo friend back! My feelings. Oh! <laughs> Careful! <laughs> Imagine! <laughs> Go away! Oh shit, not you, my bad. No, I just feel out of place. No, 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 it's not that. Uh -huh. But this is the one thing that you've always done? いい子も綺麗な子も演技が上手い子も面白い子もめちゃくちゃいっぱいいて正直なんで続けてるんだろうってこれ。いつかを見るし仕事好きなんだな。ダンスズワン。ライ。いやいやいや、I Drag her back, bro. That's on you, so you better drag her back right now. But this is because of your own insecurities. You know? I get this way of thinking. This is more comfortable. If she's just a normal girl, then you don't feel like she's out of her league and she won't ever go away. But to just like cut off something that she likes just because of your insecurity just feels wrong, right? I feel like she should just be able to just do it. Drag her back. <laughs> Wow. Oh, holding hands. Oh, my goodness. He, oh, yeah. She's the holding it. She's the holding it. What? No, no, no. It is the right idea. It is the right idea. Now, what is this guy going to think? What is the Ikime going to think? What? He's very tall. You've got the fucking Rinnegan, bro. Oh, she's talking to him? About him? He knows he's got. Huh? Strike promotions, talent division, two man. Wait, 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 wait. Su. Su. No, no, no. Suga is the other guy. This is a different character. It's not the same actor we were talking about in the past. This guy is. Manager? Is he's not recruiting Iska for modeling right now, right? No. What's what's going on here? What, what, why did he give the card? Is he gay? What was the implication here? Nope, 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 definitely not. Wait, wait, wait! Hold up! My gaydar is going Oh wait! The beautiful eyes! I don't think we have to worry about this guy. I think that Yamada has to worry about this guy, you know? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he's... Maybe he's gay, maybe he's not. Yamada. Oh my god! My goodness. My, my goodness. What the, what the fuck? 
Did not expect that from her. And I think this is supposed to show that to each color, these people in the entertainment district, sorry, entertainment <laughs> district, Jesus Christ, warning, not entertainment district, sorry, that's Demon Slayer language coming out. Entertainment industry are not as these amazing, crazy people that's out of your reach. They are like seeing a girl like this, right? To just then talk like this, I'm sure it makes her a little bit more relatable. More humanizing, right? You know what I mean? Cool. Is she cool? She's just not saying anything. The fuck? Damn, the double pose. Ah, I think a lot of people actually did. It's him again. Okay. Even about each color. Right, her breakout moment. Uh... But it's pretty much almost there. No, it's because of how much, you know, you know, Yamada talks to him about Isuka, right? It's, they pretty much are dating. They're not, but they are, right? What would you categorize these two right now? Platonic friends? I don't think so. We've gone on dates, but does that mean we're dating necessarily? Not on paper. But we're pretty much doing all these couple things without being a couple yet. It's just this weird area where one foot out, one foot in at the door, you know? Just, just almost there, just almost there. Yeah. Carte! Carte, Carte! Okay. I want to know more about Yamada. But it's like, you are a child, you know? You are acting your age. I think he's a very realistic depiction of a kid that's in like, what, grade 9 right now? Fantastic. Sunset lighting though, remember guys. Sunset lighting. Mm. Oh, he's stuck! <laughs> no. Yeah, well, that looks fine. It's just this girl, she got done dirty. Uh, I don't think she would appreciate this picture if she found it. But a great spontaneous picture. <laughs> no, it's a good smile. Oh! <gasps> accidental Riz again? It's been a while since the Accidental Riz. And that's today's episode of Dangers in My Heart. We didn't get the White Day stuff. That's I'm sure that's going to be, you know, prep for later stuff. Today was... Pretty cool. It was pretty much a date, right? Multiple dates. I mean, we went to the movies together, got Takoyaki, saw our little sister, get ra sorry, big sister, get shit on by her junior, enjoying the middle school romance. I love Takoyaki, by the way. It's such a good food. And then the movie stuff. And then who would have imagined that we could get invited out to a photo shoot, bro? Photo shoot. And I think one of the most realistic things about this is how Ichika realizes that he's out of place and she feels so distant and would you not if you're like grade 9 you're like 14 15 and you have this girl if I was in this position I don't know if I could do half the shit Ichika was doing honestly you gotta give this guy a lot of credit like totally I could relate to all these different things of feeling out of place and being embarrassed and running away totally but Yamada is so good, and nobody actually thinks that way. And there's a lot of different moments that really humanize the other, you know, people around this team. They're not just this... I don't know, this out-of-reach godlike people who are idols and stuff like that. They're just normal people, and you could see by that girl just talking in that, you know, funny voice. And he snuck a picture in. But the managers... The manager said, you know how your relationship will hinder work, I imagine. Wonder how that's gonna develop. Maybe Yamada will choose Ichika. If there is an ultimatum, she would probably choose Ichika over the modeling. Is there not a situation where we can handle both? The topic of the relationship hindering her 
career because like now she's getting into the age where and like enough experience where she's about to get into breakout roles i'm not sure how that's you know career will go but it was cool to see some of the people from the you know the agency and stuff like that we got to sneak in a you know pretty picture another episode of good progression and we're building up towards another turning point i'm not too sure but i'm really excited about white day and that's it for me if you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care